This place will go to drought for three years. And that drought caused plenty of problems. All the people scattered because they didn't have food to eat. They couldn't plow. There was no rain. There's no water to drink. I didn't Southern Africa, a dry and variable climate. People, cattle, crops, and wildlife all depend on access to water. The one vital constant in a volatile landscape of transient rainfall, drought, and flood. Global mechanisms drive the region's rainfall. A band of moisture known as the Intertropical Convergence Zone brings seasonal rains from October to March. However, the amount and timing of this rainfall varies from year to year. The last decade has seen an increase in the number of extreme flooding events. These floods devastated crops and livelihoods. Yet much of southern Africa has also been drier since the 1980s. Mean annual rainfall has declined and rainfall variability has increased. Farmers must choose what to plant and when to plant it based on what they think the rainy season will bring. Small-scale irrigation is essentially non-existent so farmers rely almost entirely on rainfall. The Limpopo region characterizes many of the challenges faced by people throughout southern Africa. A large swath of the region including the Limpopo Basin, received less rain over the last 30 years than it did prior to 1980. Variability is a major issue, but lack of rainfall continues to place the most serious constraints on livelihoods. Drier conditions mean less water for valuable livestock, which households rely on to mitigate uncertainty. In addition to changing climatic conditions, recent decades have also brought massive changes to the social systems of the Limpopo, in many parts of southern Africa. Historically, both the apartheid government policies and early wildlife conservation strategies denied people access to traditional lands and livelihood practices. You see, all the mountains here were scattered with villages. You're supposed to get one village here at Madimbo, one village at Masese, one village at Bendimdai. All the mountains were villages. People are not staying in the one in one place. So the South African gave government came with this with a plan that they must took all the people and come and make the stand. All the stand they put the people together. Ambala Ava Kotaku Kujaya Vasilipe. Go Salava Navatana Navasiti. Ava Jundi Sang. When the people were scattered there, they were living a better life because they used to plow as they like. They used to make some fields on their own and plow. But when they were brought for the stand, for the system of democracy or making the stand, people started suffering. Some didn't, can, cannot even plant. 
because people were grouped together. Changes in river flows and their timing result in more intense bouts of both flooding and drying. Increasing numbers of humans, cattle, and wildlife must all compete for this dwindling and unpredictable resource. When I was young, at the age of, of 10, that river at Masisi was running as a river. We, we used to wash in the river, in the dams of, of, the, of the Masisi River. Because the river is coming from, is coming from the Limpopo River. The problem which caused that the river must get dry, that's what we call it, the cattle from the Mandevela for the government. They brought plenty more, more cattle for grazing in the area. The Limpopo River gets full three or four times a year. But now at present, is, you find the Limpopo River is running twice, twice a year. But all the water is under the, under the sand.